Hi, my name is Barry Rosen and I'm a general surgeon at Advocate Good Shepherd Hospital in Barrington, Illinois. And I'm joined by uh, my colleague, Dr. James Ruffer, who is a radiation oncologist here at Good Shepherd. Uh, we're here today talking about a new technology that we have available for our patients here called intraoperative radiation therapy. Uh, the machine that we utilize is uh, made by Zeiss and it's called an intrabeam. And this has been available for actually almost two years now in the United States as a means of providing radiation therapy intraoperatively for breast cancer patients. Uh, this has a decided advantage over uh, whole beam radiation therapy relative to the length of time that is necessary to treat patients. Uh, current treatments for whole beam radiation therapy uh, may last for four to seven weeks depending upon the protocol. And this accomplishes uh, complete treatment in under an hour in the operating room. In addition to the benefits of decreasing overall treatment time from four to six and a half weeks, this procedure is actually done at the time of lumpectomy. Uh, the benefits include decrease overall side effects. Um, the side effects themselves are really just the side effects of a lumpectomy. The risks may be some slight reddening of the skin, but overall women are done with radiation in 70 to 80 percent of the time at the time of lumpectomy. The reason we are at this point offering this innovative evolutionary technology is a recently completed and published multinational, multi-institutional trial out of Europe as well as the United States. Since this is new technology, uh, those of us in the medical community are taking a conservative approach and only offering this at this time for people who have early breast cancers, those that are smaller, uh, those that don't involve the lymph nodes. However, uh, there is much more information that we would love to share with you, and if you would call us at Good Shepherd Hospital, uh, we would be happy to share that. Thank you. Thank you.